Bismillah, alhamdulillah, assalamu alaikum, peace be with you. Thank you for tuning in to The Dean Show. When we come back, we're going to be talking about who is your best friend. We all have best friends in life, people that we really attach to, people that we follow, people that we emulate, or maybe we're somebody's best friend. So we want to come back and talk about who is your best friend. Is it Allah or is it someone other than the creator of the heavens and earth? We'll be right back here on The Dean Show. This is The Dean the Dean Show. This is the Dean Show. This is the Dean. This is the Dean Show. 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 This is the Dean. This is the Dean. Salam alaikum. Salam. Peace be with you. Rahmatullah wa barakatuh. And you. Alhamdulillah. Thank you. Alhamdulillah. All praises to the Creator of the heavens and earth who's given us this ability to be here and to talk about something that's very important. What's your topic? The topic today we're going to be discussing best friends. Now, when I introduced the topic, I was like, who's your best friend? Someone might think, and then I said, you know, is Allah your best friend? Someone might think, how am I going to be friends with Allah? That's the creator of the heavens and earth. Is, is this something that's not practical to make Allah your best friend? Okay. Bismillah, alhamdulillah, salatu wassalamu ala rasulillah. There's nothing wrong to have friends, okay? And I don't think we can make it in life without friends. But there is a difference between a friend and the best friend. Uh, your wife can be a friend, your husband can be a friend, your neighbor can be, uh, many people can be your friends. But the reality, when you're talking about who is the best friend, this is a different issue. This is the ultimate friend. Yes. Best and, of best. And Quran talks about, وَاتَّخَذَ اللَّهُ إِبْرَاهِيمَ خليلة, That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala took Abraham, the prophet Ibrahim, as an intimate friend. Mm -hmm. uh, and the Quran talks even about the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam That the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam who migrated He have to run away and leave Mecca because uh, non-believers tried to kill him And him and Abu Bakr only and they went to hide in the cave So he was saying to his friend Don't be sad Allah is with us, okay? Allah is with us. So if Abu Bakr is the friend of the Prophet, the Prophet is the friend of Abu Bakr, but there is a higher position here, that the one who always be there with you, when somebody there, because Mecca is the town of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. This is where he born, when he grow, okay? But for a certain time, this friendship stopped. And the people turn against him. So you can understand how things change. If it's a wife, is a children. Uh, so things, and even if you, your wife is the best friend or your husband is the best friend, sooner or later they die. They leave you. And after this he's sad because you left him. But Almighty Allah is the best friend. And the only friend that always can be there is supporter. And the Quran says, Allah is the friend or the best friend, uh, the guardian, the protector of those who believe. And what is the most important thing? He takes them out of the darkness to the light. So the guidance, okay, is something is very important. And the guidance has two types. That you can guide people by talking and guide people by turning their hearts. You, as my friend, you can try to convince me to be a Muslim or to carry the same ideology you have. But you could not turn my mind and my heart to accept it. But Allah is the only one. He can guide through his revelation and also have the control to turn your heart to make you accept this. So he's the best friend. 
Friends are very important. As you said, you know, it's nothing wrong with having your wife as your friend, your husband, your friend. But now sometimes we... Uh, excuse me, let's correct something. We, we talk in, when you say your husband, because when I say, I say your wife and you say to your husband, maybe somebody will misunderstand and think that Muslims they can have uh, this kind of relationship, gays and whatever. No, we're talking about speaking in people in general. I think it's very important to make it here because we don't believe in this stuff. Yes, you know yes, yes. Oh, yeah. So we're talking about... Is it right? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> so now we see that many friends, and if you have the wrong friends, you can get led astray. Exactly. Some people, they don't want to yes. practice yes. the way of life that all the messengers of God practice. Islam, submission to the one God, acquiring peace by doing all the wonderful things he told us mm -hmm. to do. So they're nervous. They're scared because they're scared what their friends might say. Exactly. exactly. So these are the wrong friends or you got to... Of course. Switch. Because they have impact in you. And subhanAllah, the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, had indicated this long time ago. The, the friend or the companion or the gathering of a good companion and bad companion. Like a person who sells perfume and the bad companion or friend is like the person who blow in the furnace. If you sit beside somebody who's selling perfume, you smell something good. It has some impact in you, okay? But if you sit in the shop of the blacksmith and he blow in the furnace, he can burn your clothes. So you have to watch. And there is a saying, say, a sahib sahib. A sahib sahib. That means your friend can pull you, like a tow truck, okay? He has this ability that he can make you go stray or make you go to the right way. The wrong friend. And this was happening. You know how many Muslim women stop putting hijab because they, they're concerned about, oh, what, what's my friends and what's my schoolmate going to say about me? Because it, it has impact on them. And same thing, how many people, they became Muslim because they have the right friend. So it is very important. And don't forget your wife also, part of this companionship and friends. As a result of this, the Prophet ﷺ saying, فَذْفَرْ بِذَاتِ الدِّينِ تَرِبَتْ يَدَاكَ Marry a woman because her religion, otherwise he'd be a loser. Because she spent more money, uh, more time, with, or not more money, <laughs> more time with you. And she's going to have impact on your children. So make sure you get the proper wife for your future generation. So we have to be careful about friends, but nevertheless, still the best friend, no one other than Allah, because he always going to be there for you. Everybody else, they may die, they may get angry, they stop, they may go away. So you've been left with no friends. But the creator of the heavens and the earth, Almighty Allah, Allah he's, he was there before the creation, of course. he'll be there when it ends, of course. and that's the one we got to put our certainty reliance on. Exactly. The one God, Allah. Almighty Allah, alhamdulillah. Let's take a break, Shaykh, and we'll okay. be right back with more here on The Dean Show. On the outside, everything looks good. You see the $100,000 cars, you see a lot of diamonds, you see a lot of females, and they think that this is, you know, this is a life. This is, this is like, you know, paradise right here on Earth. It's not anyone's job to go into someone's heart and change their heart. Your job is to tell people what the truth is. And the reality of it is, while we're sitting here, while I'm sitting here constantly paying for the disease, the cure was free. Back here on The Dean Show, we're talking about who's your best friend. Now, we're always trying to impress people, but when you want to impress your true best friend, Allah, mm -hmm. then you're not going to take the hijab off. You're not going to be worrying about impressing other people who can lead you astray. In a way, actually, they can lead you to the displeasure of the Creator, and they can lead you towards the hellfire. The problem is that you don't have the real love for your Creator. Because if you have the real love for your Creator, and you want to be loved by your Creator, this will be your priority. You don't worry about who's happy with you, who's mad at you. You're concerned, is my Lord, my Creator, happy with me or not? This has to be your priority. Is there one authentic saying 
by the last and final messenger sent to mankind, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, that says if, if a person, you know, at the pleasure of the, people. Yes, at the pleasure of people, at the expense of displeasing mm -hmm. Allah, mm -hmm. Allah will be displeased with that mm -hmm. person and make the people displeased with them. Can you yes. go ahead and elaborate and, and, on this? And, and for you, you understand, to try to please Allah, regardless what they for the people, Allah will be pleased with you and he will turn the hearts of the people to be pleased with you. But if you try to win the pleasure of the people displeasing Allah, Allah displeased with you, and still, these people are going to maybe smile at your face for now, but maybe a day two, there'll be something different. And you can't make everybody happy. Exactly. You're always going to have... And why you have to worry about somebody like you, okay? Human being doesn't matter what they're wearing, what's their height, what is their color. A human being like you, they are weak. If they get sick, you understand, or they die, they could not help themselves. So why I'm putting these people to be as main priority? Why? This is because I have something wrong with me. I did not set my priority. There's a deficiency maybe? In Iman? In Iman? Of faith? course, yeah. of course. Because they still value people more than the Creator. But if you have Allah, the Creator, as your best friend, you're going to have the best manners. You're going to be the most educated, of aren't course. you? You're going to have the best character. Exactly. And then people at the end are going to love you anyway. Of course. Is this true? And don't forget that the, when you love somebody, when you be a friend, because you love the person, admire the person, this is a, a, a feeling inside the heart. You have to understand who controls the hearts. The human being could not control their hearts. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who controls the hearts. So you have to be concerned about the one who has the control. If you fix your relationship between you and him, now he will take care of letting the people loving you, happy with you, all these things. So we have to set our priority. Who is that the one I want to please? That's the biggest, one of the biggest problems, especially with the peers. Even it goes towards the adult fitting in. You just want to fit in at mm -hmm. any expense. Yeah. And this will cost it's you. It's dangerous. It's very dangerous. It's going to cost you because at the end you'll be a loser. You're going to lose the hereafter because you're going to definitely lose this life. Believe me, those people you try to please them, they be the first one displeased with you. Give it a time. And this happened in many times, okay? In families, in friends, in schools, in jobs, okay? They turn their back to you. And this is reality. Everybody can relate to this. Best friends end up worst enemies. Exactly. But Allah will never turn his back the on Prophet you. The Prophet ﷺ teaching us that all, when you love somebody, love him, you understand, gradually or easy. Don't fall into this love that when something happened you could not even oh i don't i could not i could not make it okay like somebody put their priority on my wife my girlfriend we, we don't believe in girl but yeah you understand for the public some people well, only marriage in islam uh, oh yeah wholesome of husband yes. and wife no dating test driving exactly exactly but whatever you call a wife or you call it a girlfriend whatever they, okay so if something happened to this person now they feel that there's no need for life they go jump in the river they commit, commit suicide, suicide. Yeah. you understand? Why? Because they did not have the right understanding who is the ones that need to be loved and seeking their love, you see? So all these things is temporary and can, it doesn't work. Let's take a break and we're going to be right back with some ways on how you can get Allah's love. Okay. What's the ways to go about it when we come back here on The Dean Show? There will always be someone that will be there to say something negative. But at the same time, there will be someone there to say something positive also. So just hold on to the rope of Allah. Everything in this universe. Rely and need Allah. The Quran says, don't kill women, don't kill children, don't kill the old people, don't attack the civilians. This is what the Prophet Muhammad told us. Ibn al-Qayyim rahimahullah said that the Prophet never ever start a war against anybody. So if you find yourself, your Iman is going down, check yourself. There is none worthy to be worshipped except Allah alone. You got some CD or some music in the car, bobbing your head to 50 cents or... No, it's common sense. Don't do things that can hurt people. Lady Gaga, Goo Goo and all that other nonsense. Bullying is haram, backbiting, slandering, and such substances as smoking. Stay tuned, 18-inch biceps. We'll see what happens to Eddie on the Dean Show.
and we holding it down on the Dean Show early. Make sure y'all tune in. Back here on the Dean Show with Sheikh Mohammed Udli. Sheikh, tell us now. Okay, we know that we said earlier that your friends, they can have a great impact on you. Mm -hmm. They can help you get closer to Allah if they're righteous friends. Exactly. Or if they're friends who are corrupt, they're going to the nightclubs, you know, all they're thinking about is fulfilling their lusts and desires, and you're trying to fit in, you're going to go with that bunch. You're going, mm -hmm. to, you're going to end up getting corrupt yourself. So let's, let's give a little bit of explanation about a friends here that you're supposed to be. That is a zakarta anak, or is a nasita zakark. The friends that you take from the human beings, the ones that when you remember Almighty God, He will assist you. If you forgot about the remembrance of God, He will remind you. Yes, that's a friend. And this, if you don't have this type of person, this is better to stay away. Yeah. Because he's going to have an impact in you. He's going to corrupt you yeah. sooner or later. So now, as example, I say, uh, oh, Eddie, we did not pray Zohar. Let's pray Zohar. So instead of saying, yes, let's pray Zohar, say, what about if we go and go to the mosque and pray it in congregation? Good friend. You see, this is a good friend. And if I forgot, you will remind me. But here is the problem that you have friends nowadays, they approaching you, okay, about doing the things. Let's smoke, let you understand, have girlfriends, let's go to the... Why you got this hijab on your head? Take it off. Exactly. Come on. I don't it want doesn't to hang look like you. It don't fit you on the... Soap. We're in the 21st century now. Exactly. Why are you wearing this on your head? You need to wear a short skirt. Let the boys whistle at you. Wrong friends. Mm -hmm. this, this is a bad company. Can you equate it now, same thing? You could thing. not even call them a friend. Can you equate it to if you're trying to, again, we go back to some of the worldly example. You want to get a big degree, you want to be a doctor, a, a scientist, an engineer, and you have a good friend reminding you, don't cut class, come to school, mm -hmm. be on time. That's a yes. good friend. This is the exactly. same thing? Exactly. Exactly. Yes. The other friends that yes. encourage you during because the school Because you're looking after, you understand things, but other people say, hey man, let's go watch TV, let's go understand. Let's cut class. Let's have fun. Exactly. Not, not a good friend. This is not. This so is not this, the right the same company. Thing. Okay, tell us, Sheikh, now, tell us, tell us, please, how can we have Allah as our best friend? What will make us earn the pleasure of our Creator so that He'll love us and we'll be that, He'll be our best friend? This, this is a big subject, but basically, if you can look in the Quran, if you look in the index word love, you found, because, by the way, a lot of Christians, they think that Islam is about do, don't, and this is, there is nothing called love. And they always say to you, Jesus is love. God is love. Love is a feeling. God is not a feeling. God is a creator. So the terminology even is wrong. God is not love. Okay? But God Almighty loves and He loves us. Love. Exactly. So in Quran, if you found in the index and try to find the word love, you will find a lot of verses talks about acts which make God Almighty loves you. As example. Indeed, Allah loves those who repent, comes back to him, stop sinning and come back. Allah loves him. And يحب المتطهرين, those who purify themselves, physically, mentally, spiritually, you understand, they always set themselves to be clean, purify themselves, stay away from the wrongdoing, from the bad mouthing, okay, from impurity. Allah loves this, okay. So you found description of people whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves. In Allah, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he loves those who spend in his cause, those who understand, who care for others. And you found this is a lot in, in Islam. But one of the main things that getting closer, getting closer to God, okay? And there is many, many, many ways and means. You have to fulfill the obligation first. The five-time prayers, fasting, Ramadan, making the Hajj, giving the Zakat. But after this, there is a higher degree now. And this will go show you the result of the love of Almighty God. What? Hadith Qudsi. Almighty Allah is saying that my slave servant continuing getting closer to me by doing optional deeds, addition, more charity, not only zakah, more sunnah prayer, not only five-time prayers, okay? When you do extra optional deeds, 
Almighty Allah will love you. And he say, when he loves the slave servant of his, he became the ear that you hear with, the eye which you watch with, the hand you touch with. That means God Almighty will be there for you to guard all your limbs. So you be directed by your creator. Mm -hmm. So you don't find yourself doing the wrong thing. Now he became a shield for your earring, for your sight. So you're always doing the good things. Mm -hmm. And of course, when you are loved by Allah, you know what was the reward. If, if you love somebody, you're ready to give him anything. Yes. So can you imagine if Allah loves us? That's amazing. Okay? That's the love that you want. Th this is what it is. Yeah. You can live on love. If you have the love of Almighty Allah, you don't need anything else. But it's, it's not just a take, take, you got to give back. So t Go ahead. Tell us, uh, we're almost out of time, just a few more points I wanted to put in. Tell us, so the person you mentioned that is fornicating, you know, jumping from man to man, woman to woman, you know, swearing, cursing, doing evil things, dressing, dressing promiscuous. And name it. A, a, a name it, just do, doing drugs. Uh -huh. You know, that person obviously is not earning the pleasure of Allah and you're furthering yourself away from of Allah. Course. But the one who did all that, but you said comes back, uh -huh. they can be still the best friend with Allah? It's not only the best friend. There is a hadith, but because of the short time, that the Prophet said that Allah, Almighty Allah is so happy, more happier than one of you lost his camel with everything on the camel in the middle of the desert. Okay? And he keeps searching and he could not find the camel. So he gave up and said, let me die now. And I'm waiting for death. He closed, he take a nap, close his eyes, wake up, he sees the camel. He jumped, holds the camel, say, Allahumma anta abdi wa ana rabbuk. Oh God, you are my slave, I am your God. That the man was so happy, he doesn't even have to put the words together correctly. So instead of say, thank you God, he say, I am your God, you're my slave. So Allah is so happy, much happier than this man who find his lost camel with all the food. So whenever you come back to Allah, Allah welcome you. Allah wow. happy that you come back. And he doesn't need you. Yeah. But this is the love of God. And this is the reason he can be your best friend. Uh, can you make that analogy? Because some people, they think desert camel, never been there, never done that. But if somebody lost their whole okay. bank account in a wallet, and now everything, credit cards, their whole life savings is yes. in like a box. But he's in the middle of the desert. There is no 911 there. You have or, to understand this. Or in a ghetto, and he exactly. lost, thinking he's never get his wife, exactly. and someone gives it back. Is yeah. it the same thing? It's more than this. <laughs> it's more than that. Yes. Allah is more happier when you repent and change but your look, life for the better. Allah is so happier, but he doesn't need us. Yeah. But this is uh, to show you why he can, he has to be your best friend. Because even after sinning, coming back, he's still welcoming you. Closing comments and suggestions. For those that are having a hard time, they're influenced in the wrong way instead of the right way, but they want Allah to be their best friend. What advice you got for them? I tell them, make a U-turn. Make a U-turn. And make a U-turn and come back to Allah. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is waiting in you at any time. Doesn't matter day or night. And if you can cry one tear from your eyes, this will wipe the whole thing. Great advice. Thank you very much. May Allah, the creator of the heavens, and earth, reward you again for being with us. Thank you, Sheikh. Beautiful advice. Make a U-turn. You know if you're going in the wrong direction or right direction, the signs are there. You got to watch this show. If you're just trying to fit in, fitting with this crowd, that crowd, and you see you're not happy. You're never content. You'll never be content until the dirt's in your mouth, until you're in the grave. And now, you know what? The drama of this life, it's over. But the drama in the next has just begun. Don't get caught by surprise by Melako Mote, the angel of death, and it snatches your soul and you spent your whole life trying to please the people at the expense of displeasing the one creator, Allah. Work now to please your creator and let Allah be your best friend. That's how you can truly be successful, not only in this life, but definitely in the next. And that's what we're striving for, to be the best in this life and to have the best paradise in the next. Continue to tune into The Dean Show. Every week we're here and share the Dean Show with all your friends, colleagues, neighbors. Pick up the DVD. You can go ahead and make copies of it and share this message of peace. Peace acquired by submitting your entire self, your will to the will of the one God. We'll see you next time here on the Dean Show. Until then, peace be unto you. I am not afraid to stand alone. I am not afraid to stand alone. If a lies by my side, I am not afraid to stand alone. I am
not afraid to stand alone If a lies by my side I am not afraid to stand alone I am not afraid to stand alone If a lies by my side I am not afraid to stand alone You have to pray as if everything depends on Allah and it does. But you must work as if everything depends on you and it doesn't. That's my point. You see what I'm saying? And I don't like that. I don't like us sitting here. What are you waiting for? What are we waiting for right now? What are we waiting for all these people to come to Islam? What are we waiting for? What are we waiting for right now? When they're going to come? They're going to come. Allah is going to bring these people. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put in our hand the ability to do it. Now do your job.